Hey everybody, talking a little bit about surgical treatment options for plantar fasciitis. And there's really only two in particular that I look at. The first one I'm going to be talking about is that minimally invasive plantar fascial release. And I do this with or without a heel spur ostectomy or resection, depending on whether they've got a heel spur, of course. Now, a lot of the time, um, these are patients that have got chronic heel pain, um, and I really like that minimally invasive um, fluoroscopy or x-ray um, guided um, release of the plantar fascia and removal of the heel spur that's there. And probably nine out of 10 of the patients that I'm seeing um, that go to surgery do have a heel spur as well. Uh, and when we're doing this procedure, it's really rewarding to be able to see straight away that we've got that um, release or total release of the plantar fascia and that removal of the spur um, that we can see on x-ray straight away. Typically, this is undertaken just through a three millimeter incision at their posterior um, aspect of their plantar heel, uh, and then guided through the fluoroscopy, as I mentioned, to make sure we're getting the right spot and there's no structures that are impeded that might otherwise be causing problems. It is a really nice procedure to undertake, but as I mentioned, making sure that patients are in the right position to do so, having exhausted all of their conservative, is of paramount concern for myself to make sure that they have as good an outcome as possible in the longer term. One of our other options that we can undertake, which helps to change the structure of the foot, is the hypercure arthroresis. And the way that this is undertaken is by putting a metal stent um, that looks like a screw into the subtalar joint, and that acts like a saddle to um, realign um, or lateralize that uh, potentially medially deviated subtalar joint. This is going to decrease the length of the plantar fascia by correcting the alignment of the foot, um, bringing that foot more into that more proper neutral calcaneal stance position, so our calcaneal neutral, um, and through our subtalar joint, it is going to be um, something that I found can be really quite effective to unload some of that rear foot right through to the um, forefoot and the pain and stress associated with it. Particularly, I use this for patients that have also got maybe a mild bunion, they might have a bit of knee pain, back pain, um, associated with how they're walking. Um, and it's just something that I can say, okay, we're going to do both these options to make sure that our patient's in the best longer term um, position for a full recovery. Um, more than happy to hear your comments on these. I really do love the minimally invasive approach over an open approach, um, plantar fascial release and spur ostectomy. I find that it works fantastic in my hands and similar for the hypercure arthroresis is a really good option there. But in the meantime, if you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button, have a bit of a look at some of our other videos and we'll talk to you in the next session. Cheers.